<laughs> it's so easy to present the Molino winery because they're kind of always winery of the year. I mean, they've been almost every year for the last, I mean, over the past 10 years. How many times have they been? Four, five times? No, I think three or four. Three or four. four. Yeah, that's, but how can you stay winery of the year and not only focusing on very limited small release, but as well deliver great wines in larger quantity, as large as it can be in Swartland? The Kloof Street Mulliner is their larger base uh, Chenin Blanc from uh, Swartland. And Swartland is very different from any other region in South Africa. And you can feel that in the glass. How is this Shona? It's a 2020 reflecting uh, in your glass, Cathy. Well, there's immediately for me on the nose beautiful cling peaches, you know, the orange ones, but they have to be cling peaches that are cool from the fridge, not cling peaches that you've left in a bowl on the veranda and they've got heated by the Swatland air got to be cool cling peaches so there's no real warmth or jamminess to the fruit or Tell compactness to the fruit it's cool but peaches. that's one of the rules you need a fridge in Swartland yes you need a <laughs> fridge in Swartland <laughs> not only for the cling peach and then also this is going to maybe be a little bit strange but I always think that it smells like terracotta you know if I um, on the nose as well um, it's, an, it's an earthiness, but it's a clay kind of character, and I call it terracotta. I do go around smelling my terracotta pots because I think they smell beautiful. And then also, slightly, somebody has to have grown up in South Africa. It smells like acacia thorn trees that you get in the bush felt. But now you've learned a lot about uh, Cassie's kink. She smells terracotta pots. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on the palate, um, it's showing some nice Shannon malic acidity and also a lovely bit of apple and apple skin. The apple skin is not only giving it a different kind of edge to the taste of the apple, it's also giving it a pithiness, um, which is lifting the palate and lifting the finish. Um, and get my acacia thorn tree also on the back of the, of the palate. Um, and this acidity is really nicely judged. It's an acidity that refreshes everything, that adds some brightness. It's not an acidity that overwhelms or takes the enamel from your, from your back teeth. 13% um, alcohol, so it's nice and round with a lovely mid palate and some decent weight. And finally, in the glass, sometimes color doesn't give you any clues but often it can be a confirmation for you but this one is just slightly darker than I would expect a Sauvignon Blanc to be of this a age. Blanc. Yes <laughs> this is a Chenin mm. so it's slightly darker than I would expect a Sauvignon to be. Lovely wine. Yeah lovely wine. I think I'm always surprised how much freshness you can get from the Swartland on when you manage your Chenin Blanc very well like the Molino do uh, because it's a sun-baked area, it's very warm, it's very dry, but the acidity structure is so well preserved. And like you said, it's very interesting in a way to assess the wine and identify it, to look at the structure of the acidity. And this malic acid, which is, malic acid is the same uh, acid that you find in apples, Correct. is completely different than what you would find on a Sauvignon Blanc or on a Chardonnay acid profile. And even if the wine is still very shy aromatically, you got the cling peach, you got this terracotta earthiness. And, and earthiness is sometimes a very good sign of the age of the wine. You know, you tend to develop that mostly on old vines more than on young vines, this earthiness. Because this is not a winemaking trick. It's something that comes, comes from naturally. the grape. Yes. And, but I like the, the brilliance of the wine, the brilliance of the acidity and the freshness of that wine. For a wine that's sold in relatively large volumes, it's really well made and it maintains that high quality throughout. It's a very consistent wine. So on the identification, clearly the malic acid, appley, uh, green apple side would give yes. you a clue on the, the on cultivar. 
yes, and the pitch expression for me, and then also for me is that acacia thorn tree. So go out and find your own acacia thorn tree or your own special marker for Shannon from the Swatland and give it a name, even if it's a name you don't share with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Milliner, Kloof Street, Shana 2020 from the Swartland, uh, brilliant acidity. I, I like that. Thank so you. do I.